Hey man, this video is about spending money and this is why you should go ahead and get the money management course. The link will be in the description for you to go ahead and get the money management course because one of the things that you will have to do is learn how to manage your money correctly. This is not coming from a cheap person. I drive a Porsche, I drive a BMW X5M. I live in a very expensive high rise and I live life and I enjoy life. So if you want to build something and create something where you can enjoy your money, start a business. But in the meantime, in the between time, go below and get the money course that will teach you how to optimize your money and teach you how to set yourself up where you'll never be broke again. All right, so let's get into this video. I was watching a video where this guy was discussing with this couple who had saved up millions of dollars and they were in their 50s and they could not spend the money. They were pathologically cheap. And let me explain what being pathologically cheap is. Pathologically cheap is a mental condition where even when you have the money, you cannot spend it, you cannot enjoy it, because from a mental standpoint, you're pathologically cheap. And this is one of the things, being this cheap will literally destroy you because um, years and years ago, I was living in the West End and the house burned down and the firemen found all this cash in the house that was up in the attic. And they did an article about this guy. And this guy had all this cash and they interviewed his girlfriend who said that he often made her pay for dates even though he had all of this money. And this is what one of the things that perplexes me because you would have people who would have money, but they can't enjoy it. And this is one of the reasons that at one point in my life, I was structurally cheap. That's the thing, structurally cheap. Let me explain to you how this happened. I was in the storage auction business and I was in the habit of buying storage units and getting all types of goodies and treats and stuff. So I became structurally cheap because I had a pathway to get things at an extreme discount. I would not say I was pathologically cheap because I came to YouTube in 2009 and I broke out of that 2011, 2012. I, I kind of broke out of that because here's the thing. What is the point in having money if you cannot enjoy yourself? This is why and I have a few colleagues, Cameron rules. When I go on vacation, I will spend money like a crackhead. I will dine in the most expensive restaurants. I will shop in the hotel lobby. I don't care. I don't care how much it costs. I fly first class. I thoroughly enjoy myself when I go on vacation. There are no, there's no limits. Literally, I'm off budget. If there's something I see and I want, I'll just go ahead and buy it because I'm on vacation. Now, during my normal life, I don't spend like that. But when I go on vacation, when I book a trip, when I get on the fly and I go somewhere fancy, I am going to spend a lot of money. My last vacation, I think I spent, because well, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about vacation. Vacation, typically when I take a plane trip, it's on points. So I don't have to spend money for the plane trip. And at the moment I have so many points, I can do plane trips, I can do airport, I can do hotels. But my last, vacation the trip was booked with plane with points the hotel was points and i still spent like twelve thousand dollars and i didn't even have to pay for air fly, airfare or hotels i still spent twelve thousand dollars because uh, there was this restaurant and this really really expensive restaurant i god i can't even remember the name but to eat in this restaurant was like i think our meal came up to a thousand bucks didn't care didn't care and this is one of the reasons i drive a porsche that car, when it came in with final sales tax and everything was like 265. And I thoroughly enjoy that Porsche every time I get in it and every time I go somewhere. Because here's the thing, what do we talk about here at this channel? Making money, increasing your life. We do not talk about being cheap. We do not talk about being, you know, cause like for me, I feel that money should be earned. Money should be managed wisely. 
Cause like, you know, when I'm not on vacation, my spending is pretty much normal. Um, let me go ahead, it is June and I had some business expenses and let's go ahead and talk about that. I'll spend whatever I need to spend for business. I don't care. Uh, if I need to spend $100,000 for business, I'll spend $100,000 for business. And my personal life, I just really just don't spend that much, but I do enjoy myself. If I see something that I want, I'll go ahead and get it. So I don't just go out and spend recklessly. Let's make sure that we understand we're not talking about spending recklessly. We're talking about making money from a, from a stable income source and enjoying yourself and enjoying your money and enjoying the things that you do, enjoying the things that you have created and enjoying yourself in the world. This is the things that we talk about because one of the things that I find to be really interesting is the false belief mindset that people have that for you to be wise and successful, you need to be cheap. And there are many people who feel that one of the ways to get rich is to be cheap. And that, that, that is one of the most ridiculous things I ever heard because there was a picture of Mark Zuckerberg shopping in Costco and the way the article was written that Mark Zuckerberg is rich because he shops in Costco. It has nothing to do with it. Zuckerberg is rich because he started Facebook. That has everything to do with it. And you know, one of the things that I consistently see is people connect, making this connection with being very frugal, not spending money, with being able, because this is something that's really great, that's in a great evidence in the FIRE movement. Financial independence retire early. And I was reading this one couple who worked really, really hard, they save up their money. I think they were getting like 40, 45,000 a year from their retirement portfolio. And this guy was very cheap. Uh, they lived out in the desert. They was using solar power to power their home. And I was just sitting there, like, what a horrible way to live. You've got to be very cheap. You've got to be on top of your money. You have to be measuring stuff, they were clipping coupons. And I'm just sitting there like, these are the United States of America, man. The money is here if you want it. You can get that money and live the life that you want to live. And th this is the thing that just, just, just drives me crazy. It's just one of the things that I see, which is insane. The number of people who have an emotional attachment to money. The number of people who really think being cheap, like once again, I had a situation where my website got hacked and I went looking for some help. Did I hire the cheapest person? Mm -mm. I hired the most expensive person on the platform and my problem was resolved. We started talking Monday. I woke up Tuesday and I had like four messages from this person and my problem was resolved. Why was my problem resolved? Because I did not like go finding the cheapest people to do this. I found the most expensive person. And this is what's funny. The most expensive person actually did the work on the website, got the problem solved before I even paid them. I had to pay them after the fact. And th this, this is one of the things that I see because like with online courses, if there's a course I want, I feel they'll be beneficial to me. I'll go ahead and spend the money. Oh, that's not a problem. Because once again, let's talk about personal spending and business spending. Personal spending, I feel you should enjoy your money. I don't have a cheap lifestyle. I drive a Porsche 911 Turbo S. I drive a BMW X5M and I live in a high rise. Not a very cheap lifestyle because one of the things that I feel, if you work hard to build up your business, you work hard to grow your business, you work hard to do certain things for your business, you should enjoy your life. You should enjoy your money. And there are so many people who have this notion that denying themselves. And once again, this isn't a path to go out 
and be reckless. I'm not saying be reckless. What I'm saying is be responsible with your money because let's go ahead and talk. My personal life, I drive a Porsche 911 Turbo S, BMW X5M. I live in a very expensive house and I enjoy that. So on my personal life, there are really, let me go ahead and how do I have to say this? There are built-in expenses. There's built-in expenses, but once again, BMW, I pay cash for it. Uh, the Porsche, I finance that so I can have that on my credit report and 200,000 of that is paid off. Only actually, no, 220,000 of that is paid off and I only owe 40,000, which I will be taking care of at the end of this year once that loan is a year old. And essentially, I don't have a lot of bills. I just don't on the personal side. Now let's go ahead and talk about the business side. Now the business side, this is where a lot of business owners get in trouble. They take all the money out the business. They have the money going crazy. Like if my business needs something, if I needed a camera, I needed a computer, or I needed to buy a new drone, I have the money where I can go ahead and make that purchase instantly. I don't have to save up or wait. No, I, for my business, I'll spend whatever I need to spend. And actually, uh, I can go ahead and tell you that my business spending is about to go way up. I'm going to say August and September. My business expense is going to go way up because I'm going to start running ads. And essentially, once again, I already have the money to run the ads. I already have the money in the bank. It's just a matter of setting up the sequence in the process. Number one, I got to make the course because I'm not going to run ads on a course that isn't finished. I'm not going to do that. So finish the course, sub the landing page, and then testing. And I figure I'll do a month or two of testing. What is testing? I will run ads and see if they work. And this is one of the things that just cracks me up. I see all these guys who want to do drop shipping and they're like, I ran ads and I'm like, how do you know those ads work? Have you tested those ads? Have you run? Because essentially I will create about five, maybe 10 different ads and I will run them and see which ads perform the best before I make my final decision. So for business, that money is already in the business because this, this is something else too. I don't rob my business of the money. There's plenty of money in the business for me to do anything I need to do business wise. But let's go ahead and say for business spending, whatever I need to spend to make my business better, I will spend that. I will spend that. And, you know, it, I also enjoy doing certain things. I enjoy setting myself up for a certain situation. Because here's the thing, when you enjoy your money and you have money in a situation, you should enjoy yourself. Like, once again, personal spend. Uh, if I, there's a restaurant called Hal's Steakhouse, very expensive joint. If I go get a steak and a dinner from Hal's, it's gonna be 127. I'll do that whenever I wanna do it. Um, there is no restriction because that's one thing that I do spend the crazy amount of money on. It's food. I, I will spend, I probably, I have to look at my American Express app because that's where most of my food spending happens because I get 4X the points for spending on food. So, and then I'm going to get 4X the points for spending on advertising. And like I said, wherever I go somewhere, the plane is bought with points and the hotel is bought with points. And this is something else too. Whenever I have to go on a business trip, once again, my points are used for personal expenses. Business trip, if I had to go to California, I would just go ahead and pay for it. Buy it on American Express and a hotel because those are legitimate business trips and I can get to deduct those points. But once again, my concept, my, my relationship with money is very different than it, what it used to be. My relationship with money is, we will spend money on what we need to spend money on. Uh, last year, my bedroom set, which I got from Pottery Barn, the nightstands were messed up and corroded and I didn't like looking at it. So what did I did, I spent $18,000 on a new bedroom set. I will spend money uh, this, this right here, 
this sofa set I spent, I got two sofas and two leather chairs. I spent $12,000 on that. And you know, I sit here and I think about this and this is something else. I try to make practical expenses. And like, if I was to sell this, there's no way that I can get $12,000. Honestly, it would be the most I would say I can get out of this would be three and 4,000 would be fantastic if I was to sell it. And I've had this, this living room set since 2018, 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we're going on five years. Um, I'm probably, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do. Because um, once again, we're having this conversation. I'm probably, once the lead is high rise, I'm going to probably go in the house and this stuff's going to go in the basement and I'm going to be buying all new furniture. I'm going to be buying a dining room table. I'm going to be buying a living room set and I'm gonna be buying some other stuff. So that's one of the things, because one of the reasons that I don't spend recklessly every day is when there's an occasion, like I'm moving this year, toward the end of the year, I'll be moving and I'll be spending money like a crackhead. I'm gonna get movers, I'm gonna buy new furniture, I'm gonna order new stuff. I will be spending money like a crackhead. And I have no problem with that because here's the thing. At one point, I'm gonna be dead and I can't take the money with me to the next life. Um, th that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna enjoy myself while I'm here because once again, I, I see these people who are like ridiculously cheap, pathologically cheap. And you know, I, I saw this episode by Remit Sati. I will teach you to be rich. In this couple, they're worth 4.3 million, they're in their 50s, and they cannot enjoy their money. And that's not the only one. I mean, there's a lot of people who have millions of dollars in assets. And that's something else we're about to talk about. One of the reasons that I'm able to spend money is I make money. Now, what do I mean? My money doesn't come from an asset. My money comes from a business. And this is how I was able to buy a Porsche in the BMW X5 in one month and pay cash. So because I have high cash flow and I make a lot of money, because essentially I can spend all the money that I make in one month and the next month, bam, it's back again. So that I feel is one of the reasons that I have the attitude that I have towards money. So once again, do not be cheap, make a lot of money, enjoy yourself and do really, really well with your life. My name is Glendon Cameron. Hopefully you enjoyed this discussion. I will see you guys in the next video.